welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will demonstrate how to install and calibrate a three-point bending clamp on a DMA850. TA Instruments offers varieties of different size three-point bending clamps. This standard clamp has both 20mm and 50mm built-in one piece. We also have separate 20mm and 50mm low friction three-point bending clamps with rock and roll designs. This design helps to improve sample to clamp contact in case the sample is not perfectly flat. In addition to these two sizes, TA Instruments also offers a package of three small size three-point bending clamps. They are 15mm, 10mm, and 5mm. The operator can select the most appropriate span that matches the size of the sample, then mount it onto the stationary clamp before installing this small size three-point bending clamp. Open Trio software and connect it to a DMA850. Under Experiment, click on the arrow on the clamp icon. Select the name of the clamp you want to install and calibrate. For example, 50mm three-point bending clamp. If this clamp file has not been previously created, then click on Add New Clamp. Select Three Point Bending, then Next. In this page, select your sample geometry, for example, rectangular, then click on Next again. In this video, we'll be using the 50mm three point bending clamp as an example. So, under Sample Size, Enter 50 mm as the sample length. We can leave the width and thickness as default value for now since we'll be measuring and entering those values when we test each individual sample. Specify the name of the clamp by entering 50 mm three point bending clamp. Click on Finish to create this clamp file. Then, Trios will automatically lead you to perform the clamp calibration. From the Instrument Touch screen, lock the drive shaft. Install the movable clamp to the drive shaft. Then close the furnace. From Trio software, press Calibrate to begin. This calibration is to measure the mass of the movable clamp. After it is finished, click on Accept. The second step is clamp compliance calibration. Install the fixed clamp to the four posts. Tighten the screws with the torque wrench set to 10 inch pound. Use a caliper to measure the width and thickness of this precision steel compliance sample. Then load this steel sample to the clamp. Use your finger to push the movable clamp until it is in full contact with the steel bar and align the bar properly. Enter the steel sample width and thickness into the software. Then press Calibrate to begin. This calibration step will take about one minute. If the calibration is finished normally, the compliance value should typically be lower than 0.6 micrometer per newton. Click on Accept to finish the calibration. When all calibrations has been completed, you should see green check marks on each calibration step. Then close this page in Trios. You are now ready to use this clamp. Please note that when using a three-point bending clamp, the sample length is the span of the fixed clamp. For example, when you use this 50 mm clamp, the sample length is fixed at 50 mm. You can always install and calibrate some smaller size three-point bending clamps for testing shorter samples. In this tech tip, we have demonstrated how to install and calibrate a three-point bending clamp on a DMA850. Please stay tuned for more TA tech tips, and thank you for your interest.